Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, August 5th, 2020 at 6 11 p.m. And right here is a Litex Starbright ceiling fan. It's manufactured March of 1995. And uh, these are childhood fans for me, and um, I did see one sold at the defunct hardware store chain called Stambaugh's, which was local to me. I grew up right by one, and they had a fan on display very, very, very similar to this one, but it was not a Starbright, but it had the same sideband, crystal sideband, and crystal globes like you see there. Let me zoom in on. And that he said, let's turn the light there. Show a little light in the situation. And um, as you can see, the fitters jutted out a little bit more, kind of like a Castellanca K4S. And it's very, very similar to the uh, white and brass light housing fan I have and I filmed earlier. So it's basically a cousin to this one. The light, that white and brass one, mind you. But this fan initially came with uh, non pointed tip blades. It's more of that generic. It's not quite square, but it's not quite, you know, round. It's kind of curved at the top, but you get my idea. Um, these blades, I got a construction junction, and they were very immaculate condition, too. And like, it's more reminiscent of my childhood uh, bladed housing hugger because it had pointed tip blades like this one. Let's uh, zoom in on them, shall we? See the reflection of the crystal glass. And I put the rosewood side down because it goes well with the room. Other side is high gloss oak. And the blades that came with this fan were warped. One of them was warped, so I decided to uh, stuff it under something like some weight, like, you know, a bunch of books and stuff. And so far, I think it, you can't really tell which one it was, so I, I think that's all the problem. And some my repairs I did, the, did to this fan were that pull chain in the middle. That's evidence, that string right there, that's evidence that I switched the uh, light switch because whoever had it before me just yanked the bead part of it out at the beading, and I guess they wanted everything on simultaneously, didn't want to change it, but me, that didn't really didn't really work too well, so so I went to uh, Rural King, got this Eaton three-way pull chain, which works tremendously, and let's have a look at the faceplate, shall we? This fan was a nuisance to install, because you had to line up the uh, screws with the uh, lugs. See, that's one of the lug screws right there, and some of the screens a little bit started to fray a little bit. As you can see where the blade is, that's the thing you open to change the uh, bulbs in the top of the motor. And um, since we're on the topic of demonstrating the light function, let's uh, so just the uh, top is illuminated, I, which I think is kind of cool. I call this a dining room fan because it would obviously look good in the dining room. So yeah, maybe next place I'll get it. I'll hang this fan in the dining room. Who knows? If there isn't a Casablanca that I like or Fasco or Emerson that I like better, but this one looks pretty well. And all lights, top and bottom, are illuminated. So yeah, and the reverse switch is right there. We are looking right at it. Okay, that being said, let's wrap up the fan first on low. Thought I'd show it to you. Illuminate looks so awesome. With everything on simultaneously. 
has a little bit of a hum to it, but that's okay. It's barely audible. Okay. Medium. See one of the bulbs inside there. And yes, they, I do have incandescents, but I decided to go with that for this fan for sentimental purposes. And I can see the some mediums moving some air. It really doesn't do too bad. And let's bump it up to high. Wow, it's really moving some air on high. It has a slight shake, but it's only noticeable if you're looking for it. But other than that, it's and the uh, chain where the light that controls the lights moves into a it's like a centripetal motion because it. Ever since the other pull chain I've put there, to make it easier to adjust the speeds. Now it's just getting caught in it and how good. Not bad, but you know, it's not terribly tangled, but you know what I mean. I forgot to mention that these, the Starbright version was sold at uh, Busy Beaver, which it was like Stanbaugh's. It was kind of like Stanbaugh's after Stanbaugh's. They still do exist, but they phased out their ceiling fan display, which sucks. But when they first, the one nearest me opened in 1996, fall of 1996, I saw one of these and it's ever popular twin sister, the Moon Globe, but they were under the Litex label as opposed to Harbor Breeze and they sold the ever popular Cheshire, Cheshire there, however the heck you pronounce it. I only take one of those, somebody gave me one, but that's beside the point. I love this because it's my quasi childhood fan, I put it. And I can't get blades that are actually original to this fan or look like the originals at a light, local lighting store. Of course, I haven't really been back there since the pandemic occurred, but I'll get there if I'm ever nearby it. Okay, I think we'll power it down. Yeah, I just... For the longest time, I let ever... When I first hung this fan, I didn't repair the pull chain right away, the light one. And I got this last year on Facebook Marketplace. And there actually is one currently on Facebook Marketplace. They, it was originally $75, but they want $60 now, which I think is a bit too steep for a fan like this. I mean, if we're new in the box, I'd probably pay that much. But it looks just like this one with the blaze and all the blaze and the globe. So I think there might have been one that actually... Uh, looks like it. It's spinning down here. I'm running out of space to film this, so if it, if it stops abruptly, uh, I hereby apologize in advance. But anyway, it's got good spin down time, even though the bearings were slightly iffy. But you know, I just want to give this a shot, and so far it's passed the test. beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Okay, 
that's familiar. Looks like it just about stopped. This concludes our broadcast day. Thank you for watching. More to come.